In the third part of ledge climbing, I will be making turning on ledges. The system looks rather buggy but that is due to a lack of a proper animation and using this placeholder one. If you have a better one then you can easily replace it and make the system work better. First we need animations. I will be using these hang hop left and right, which will also be used for the next video. There are free hang animations here too which I will show in engine but not be using which I will explain later. A large disclaimer is that these animations are not meant for turning in ledges and I am using them since I don't have any proper animations for it nor am I an animator. It is highly recommended to use proper animations you got from the marketplace or made yourself as this does not work 100% accurately for turning. Next I will use this Mixamo to Unreal converting software to convert to the Unreal skeleton. I will put a link to the software in the description. Open Unreal Engine and make a new folder for turning animations. Import the animations and enable root motion on all of them. You can do this easily by selecting all then pressing bulk edit via property matrix in the asset actions. Now open the player blueprint. Open the move on ledge function from the previous video. Make a new function called turn on ledge. Add a for loop with break with last index being 10. Now add a line trace by channel. This line trace will be to find if there is a surface on the right or left of the ledge to turn to. Get the actor location and add a vector to it. The other vector will be the actor forward vector multiplied by the index with an offset added to it. Now add another vector. Get the actor right vector and multiply it twice. The second multiply value will be the for loop index. The other one will be a select float. Make a new input called move amount. If this is greater than 0, then A is 10, otherwise minus 10. This makes it trace either forward left or forward right based on which way we want to turn. Now subtract 50 from the final result for the end loation. I will make the draw debug type an input for easier testing. Go back here and change it so that it adds to 50 the index multiplied by 10. Add the function in false of this branch in the move on ledge function. For move amount get the move amount input from this function.
the trace is going forward and right since we pressed D to turn here. We now need to stop the trace once the surface has been found by checking if any of the line trace is false. Drag out of return value and add a branch. Add a sequence. Then zero will be connected to break from the for loop. Now the trace does not continue once the surface is detected. Add a sphere trace for then one. Start will be the trace start from the previous traces hit result. The end will be trace start with actor forward vector multiplied by 90 added to it. Set the radius to 50. Now add a capsule trace for the final trace check. Break the hit result of the sphere trace. Add the trace start and trace end and divide it by 2. Then get the actor right vector and multiply it. Add the divided value to this vector. This is the start and end for the capsule trace. For the value to multiply by, convert it to a float and add a select node. The condition will be move amount greater than zero again. A is 80 and B is minus 80. Set the radius to 10 and half height to 40. Add a branch from return value. Now make a new custom event for turning with animation. Create anim montages of the braced hang hops. The reason I am not using the free hang ones as well is since if we place them both, you can see the height of both is different relative to the root location. This makes it far more difficult to make a smooth transition system and so it is better to use an animation set specifically designed for games. Now open the hop left montage. We will add a motion warping notify for the whole montage. If you don't have this notify make sure you have motion warping plugin enabled. Set the warp target name to ledge turn. Copy and paste the notify to the hop right montage too, making sure you change the start and end.
Now go back to the blueprint and add the add or update warp target node from motion warping. Make a motion warping target. The name will be the same one we just set. For the location and rotation drag it into the custom event to create inputs for them. Then get the mesh and play montage. The montage to play will also be an input. Go back to the turn on ledge function and call this custom event if this branch is false. For the location duplicate these nodes first. Make a new float input called move to offset. Adjust the select float values as shown. For the rotation we will simply get the actor rotation and add either 90 or minus 90 in yaw to rotate using the same select node logic. For the montage, add a select node with the same index. False will be hop right and true will be hop left. Set the move to offset value to something like 40. After calling the event set the hand IK target alpha to 0 as it should be disabled while turning. I will now comment the function. Go to the ledge climb input code. Add a new event called hang event and connect it to trace ledge. This is to rehang on the wall after turning. Since in the first part of ledge climbing we scripted the function so that the idle to hang animation only plays if is on ledge is initially false, calling this function will not make the animation play and instead will just move the capsule component to the hanging location. On blend out, call the hang event. Then set hand IK target alpha to 1.
there is an error in finding the location. Go back to turn on ledge and change the code here as shown. Now it is sort of working but there are some bugs to fix. First go to the trace surface event and adjust these values that the right vector is being multiplied by. Next open the two hop montages. Find the point in the animation where the hop ends and the player should hang. Subtract this from the animation duration and set it as the blend out time. You can round the values and subtract, it does not need to be exactly accurate. Do the same for the other montage as well. This has made it a bit smoother. The glitching you can see on screen is due to the issue explained before of the placeholder animation not being suitable to use. That is all for this video. You can purchase this project using the link in the description if you want. If you enjoyed, like and subscribe for more content. Thanks for watching.